John 19.29 Skuas Eketa Oxus Mestan Spongon un Mestan tu Oxus Husopo Perithentes Praseninkan Autu to Stomati We're continuing to read here about the events at Jesus' crucifixion. We read a vessel or a jar full of sour wine was sitting there or was lying there. So, having placed a sponge full of sour wine upon a hyssop branch, they offered it to his mouth or they held it up to his mouth. Well, this short verse has quite a few rare vocabulary words that I'm imagining the average subscriber here is struggling with. Let's look at a few forms to help us. So, eketa. Maybe you recognize that as coming from kemai. Kemai means to recline, to lie. You can see this is going to be a verb that prefers middle endings. We also see an augment here. We see this eta, eta ending. This is an imperfect middle indicative third person singular. Third singular because the subject is a vessel or a jar. A jar was lying, right? Not just a jar, but a jar full of sour wine. Also, we'll notice here we have a participle, parathentes, uh, and it uh, is telling us action that happened prior to the offering, right? Probably we translate with a as an adverbial temporal participle, after having placed, after having placed a sponge full of sour wine upon a hyssop branch, comma, they offered it, or they held it up to his mouth. The perithentes, whenever you see a the or the, you don't know what it's from, it's from tithemi, this is from paratithemi, to place upon or to put upon, and it is a participle. Um, it is an aorist active participle. It's nominative masculine plural describing the the subject, what they, the subject of this other verb, are doing prior to the offering. This pros aninkan, I'm, I'm guessing that might have been a little bit tricky for you because this aninkan is super irregular aorist form of pharaoh, right? This is from pros pharaoh, to offer up, to hold up. And remember, I hope you remember that Pharaoh has a really irregular heiress, a second heiress, a ninka, and so, or sometimes a ninkan. It's, it occurs with both, both of these endings, a ninka or a ninkan. So Pharaoh means I offer, uh, or pros Pharaoh to offer up or to hold up. And remember the second heiress of Pharaoh is a ninkan or a ninka. Right here we have a, a second heiress, active indicative, third person plural, they held up or they offered up.